I have a story about following dreams. Or maybe, more accurately, it's a story about finding a path to make those dreams real. You know what it's like to wake up in the middle of the night with a vivid dream? And you know how if you don't have a pencil and pad by the bed, it will be completely gone by the next morning. I had one of those dreams when I was 23. When I suddenly woke up, I was thinking, what if we could download the whole web and just keep the links and I grabbed a pen and started writing. Sometimes it's important to wake up and stop dreaming. I spent the middle of that night scribbling out the details and convincing myself it would work. Soon after, I told my advisor, Terry Winograd, it would take a couple of weeks for me to download the web. He downloaded, he nodded knowingly, fully aware it would take much longer, but wise enough not to tell me. The optimism of youth is often underrated. Amazingly, at that time, I had no thoughts of building a search engine. The idea wasn't even on the radar. But much later, we happened upon a better way of ranking. And we made a really great search engine and Google was born. When a really great dream shows up, grab it. When I was here in Michigan, I'd actually been taught how to make dreams real. I know it sounds funny. That is what I learned in a summer camp converted into a training program called Leader Shape. Yeah, we got a few out there. Their slogan is to have a healthy disregard for the impossible. That program encouraged me to pursue a crazy idea at the time. I wanted to build a rapid, personal rapid transit system on campus to replace the buses. Yeah, you're still working on that, I hear. It was a futuristic way of solving our transportation problem. I still think a lot about transportation. You never lose a dream. It just incubates as a hobby. Many things people labor hard to do now, like cooking, cleaning, and driving, will require much less human time in the future. That is, if we have a healthy disregard for the impossible, and actually build the solutions. I think it is often easier to make progress on mega ambitious dreams. I know that sounds completely nuts, but since no one else is crazy enough to do it, you have little competition. In fact, there are so few people this crazy that I feel like I know them all by first name. They all travel as if they are pack dogs and they stick to each other like glue. The best people want to work on the big challenges. That is what happened with Google. Our mission is to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. How can that not get you excited? But we almost didn't start Google, actually, because my co-founder, Sergey, and I were too worried about dropping out of the PhD program. None of you have that issue, it seems. You are probably on the right track if you feel like a sidewalk worm during a rainstorm. That is about how we felt after we maxed out three credit cards buying hard disks off the back of a truck. That was actually the first hardware for Google. Parents and friends, more credit cards always help. What is the one sentence summary of how you change the world? Always work hard on something uncomfortably exciting. Overall, I know it seems like the world is crumbling out there. It's actually a great time in your life to get a little crazy, follow your curiosity, and be ambitious about it. Don't give up on your dream. The world needs you all.